Hey, my name is Mohamed Dorab, and in this video, I'm going to talk about SQL Server licensing for big data clusters. Now, uh, with the general availability of SQL Server 2019, the biggest question that I had, and maybe you have too, that's why you're probably watching this video, is how does licensing work, right? This isn't just a standalone instance or maybe a AG replica or something like that. There can be n number of, you know, compute pool nodes or, you know, storage nodes. So how does that work? So I took a little dive into the licensing guide. By the way, all links are in the show notes in case you wanted to further dive deep yourself. But I extracted the big data cluster portion and that's what this video is about. So hopefully if you're as interested and excited about big data clusters, you watch this video, you'll be a little bit more prepared to talk about, you know, how the licensing work and stuff like that. Just to give you better knowledge. So that way you can talk with, you know, business decision makers or just to know about it, right? To see how it works and what Microsoft is doing uh, on the licensing front with BDC. So let's get started. So first of all, the master instance in a uh, big data cluster is uh, licensed per core, just like any other instance, right? So you, if you have a four core, eight core, 16 core machine, you just do a uh, license on those cores, you're good to go. Now, I do have the, the cost of the uh, enterprise edition and standard per two core pack. But really it all depends on what type of agreement you have with Microsoft or whatever deals that you get. But that's what's in the Microsoft uh, licensing guide for SQL Server 2019. Now the key thing is you must have software assurance or subscription, right? So let's go in with a little bit of software assurance and what is the benefit of having that. So the biggest benefit in, in terms of BDCs is once you have software assurance, they give you this thing called a big data node entitlement. So, right, that all that means is um, they give you a limited number of core licenses based on how many cores you got for the master instance. And just right there, I have there, uh, the cost is $400 a year for the big, uh, big data node um, core license. Now, think of a big data node as any machine or any node that is not the master instance, right? So you have the master instance and then all the other worker nodes that are, you know, uh, in the compute pool or storage pool, those are your big data nodes, right? So let's, let's dive in a little bit deeper to hopefully explain what I'm talking about. So let's take the example of uh, enterprise edition, right? For big data clusters, you get eight times as many big data node core licenses as the number of cores you have licensed on the master instance, right? So as the image, and by the way, this image was taken from the uh, uh, licensing guide for SQL Server 2019, it's not something that I made up. Um, but as you see the uh, master instance right here on top with the four cores, and on the lower hand, on the left hand side, you see SQL Server Enterprise Core Licenses, four, right? So that four times eight, right? Don't forget the Enterprise Edition, you get eight times whatever cores you have licensed for the master instance. So eight times four, you get 32 cores. Now that's your entitlement cores if you have software assurance, right? So now you can take those 32 core that you have that are entitled or, you know, come with software assurance and divvy them out uh, on your, you know, you know, your compute pool, your server, pool, however you want, right? And you're left over with 16 cores that you need to uh, uh, purchase a core license for, which is at $400 a year, right, for a two pack. So that's what, $200 a core, right? You have to buy per two pack. So, you know, you can do the math, right? So that's enterprise edition. You get eight times the number of cores that you have licensed on the master uh, in, uh, uh, instance. So for standard, you get the same number of uh, big data node licenses or core licenses that you have on the master instance. So in this case, we have the four on the master instance. We're just gonna do four times one, right? The one time, not eight, but one. So now you have four plus four, that's eight, and then you just have to uh, get the other 44 core licenses, right, for the uh, big data nodes. So the biggest difference between enterprise and standard when it comes to uh, the big data node core licenses is the, the number, right? So with enterprise, you get eight times, and then with uh, standard, you get one. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, if you're like me, or if you know uh, my, a little bit about my background or my passion, I'm, I'm all about deploying BDCs on AKS, right? 
If you want to take your BDC to Azure, you want to deploy it to Azure, you can pretty much what they call license mobility with Azure, which you can pretty much take your enterprise license or your standard license and apply it on Azure. So whatever you have on uh, uh, enterprise, you can apply it on Azure, same thing. So it makes it very, very uh, easy and very simple. So that's pretty much the gist of it. I told you it was gonna be a quick video. I hope this was helpful. At least now, you know, you uh, can go and, you know, talk shop. You can maybe convince some business decision makers, right? And, or just pretty much have the knowledge, right? Have more knowledge in how BDCs and, and, and uh, licensing work. So I know licensing can be very confusing and, and complicated. And I've had my fair share of times where I'm like, ah, my head hurts looking at this, but hopefully this uh, shed light on the matter. And again, my name is Mohammed Darab. Uh, if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Again, this is going to be a big series or, or a, a single uh, video on a big series of big data clusters in small bites. So thanks again. Take care.